upcoming September 18th, we are doing a 12 hour stream. Please join me. It's a celebratory stream. We have more than a thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube. And so we're going to be um, celebrating with that. Going to be doing a handful of different games. World of Warplanes mainly, of course, with some other battles. Going to have some special guests. Um, I'm hoping for a really special guest. Not that all the rest of the guests aren't special, but you know what I mean. Um, I will hopefully see you all Saturday. Hey there, Postal here. What are we up to today? We are out here taking away... Or taking out, excuse me, the FW252. This is a tier 10. This is actually my least favorite tier 10 plane in the game. Um, I suspect part of it is, you know, me. Um, but part of it is the plane, and I gotta say that. Like, so I like the Swift. It took me a little while to like the Swift, but I absolutely love it now. And on paper, this is just a worse Swift. Um, in practice, there's definitely some, some perks to this plane. One of them is not maneuverability, for the love of frickin' Jeebus, Postal. Let's not uh, do anything completely stupid. It really shouldn't be going for light fighters anyway. This is like the worst type of plane to go for. You've got two 30 millimeter cannons on this plane. Very hard hitting 30 millimeter cannons, but pretty short range. Uh, bad combination for something that's this unmaneuverable. Two 30 millimeter cannons, uh, anybody that's ever played 30 millimeter cannons knows they don't like going for small maneuverable targets. They prefer to go for the fatter, slower, less maneuverable targets. Um, as such, you really should be using this plane to go versus heavy fighters, to be honest. Um, you want to take advantage of heavy fighters. You want to take advantage of ground attackers, even. You've got more hit points than a lot of other planes at this tier. Um, I think you've actually got the most hit points of any tier 10 fighter. So there's that going for you. Oh, J7W3, huh? Yeah, I'm dead. It's like the bane of my existence, to be honest. Always the J7W3s. Uh, let's get out of the sector. Luckily, we're still alive, miraculously. J7W3s are some of those planes, like, they've got the small hitbox and good maneuverability. And they've got twice as many guns. Yeah, they're not as fast as you, but... Does it matter when they kill you? Um, so, let's see if we can't get rid of this Seahawk. Get our guns on target. Aim further out. When in doubt, aim further out. Seriously, no joke. J7W3s are like the worst plane to go against. Can never seem to hit them. Never seem to get enough... Uh, Impact on my cannons. Let's go for a plane that I'm really meant to go for something like this F2H Any heavy fighter really is a good plane to go for no matter what they can outmaneuver you Well, not no matter what but they're probably not gonna outmaneuver you unless you screw up or unless they've got some crazy mad skills uh, Their usual, you know winning combination of air speed and altitude doesn't really beat you in this this plane yeah, this plane does not have uh, altitude performance, but it certainly has the airspeed. Obviously, you don't want to go head-on versus a Tier 10 heavy fighter. But all in all, the FW-252 is certainly built for taking out these heavy type fighters. Let's go over here. I think this XF-90 is going to be dead. Yep. So let's go ahead and get ourselves over to the... We actually need to get that. I'm kind of just dicking around here. Considering what we're up against. But I suppose we should play a little bit more seriously. I don't know where everybody's at right now. Going to get outmaneuvered by a hunter because of course we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Losing the military base. No, we can outmaneuver an XF-90, right? Just can't outspeed him. But we've got a decent amount of speed right now. He's going to have to try to boost. And now we've knocked out his engine. 
So we've actually set ourselves up for pretty darn good success here. We just need to cool off our guns. There we go. Let's go ahead and get to the military base here so that way we can get that captured. We're up on points, but we're down on sectors. It's a bad combination of items. Um, Seahawk, J7W3. Freaking, oh, he's going the opposite direction. I thought he was coming at me. I'm like, really, dude? Coming at me, bro? All right, um, what do we got going on here? Seahawk coming back to us? Not really, no, so let's get this heavy fighter. That's why we are built for taking on heavy fighters. We've got high hit points, we've got great speed, we've got no maneuverability, all that combines into heavy fighter killing abilities, right? Um, the Seahawk is still alive, so let's go kill the Seahawk. Oh, and now suddenly we've got both command centers. So now we don't really need this sector, but uh, we're going to try to get it anyway. Because that's how the world works. Uh, let's get the B2, I guess, first, because he's kind of at a better angle for us. Held down the trigger there, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to stick with the B2. And I figured I would just hold down the trigger, get all the damage I could, and we'll worry about turning around afterwards. Tapity tap, so that way I can try to get these. Oh, am I going to get bomb dropped here? Luckily not. Saving my boost, because I'm eventually going to have to go get these bombers, I think. Got a hunter inbound. Ah. Annoying. When you've got your engine knocked out in this plane, you're in all kinds of trouble, right? Ah, no, 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 no. Yak 30. Yeah, right. Oh, good thing he turned away from us. It's like, well, we're dead. There's no freaking way. But apparently I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, bombers up top. So let's go chase down said bombers up top. He's at half health. I should be able to take him on. I've got a decent amount of health. Squall line has been uh, engaged here. I don't know why there's an air defense aircraft over here in between two blue sectors, but what do I know? Ground attacker below us. We've got this JU in front of us. I'd like to think I can get him. Fortunately, we're at like the absolute range of our guns. All we need them to do though is hit. Cool. All right, let's go get the Seahawk. Where are you at, Seahawk? Come to me. Aim further out. Thank you. No, I don't want that. What I do want is... Let's get these ground attackers, I guess. If I can get rid of him, he's going to be gone for the game. Excelente. Let's use our boost. We'll go get this bomber this way up here. Oh, he's on super low health. I think he's dead anyway. Sure seems like it. Maybe we can get a kill secure. Nope. Um, heading to the center, I guess. Right. We've got. Uh, let's kind of let's head towards this guy right here. I hate freaking J7W3s. Bane of my existence. Uh, let's actually go defend the military base at this point. We've got a multi roll over here. I think, the, yeah, the IL-40 just got killed, so we should be okay. Hunter, though. I mean, okay from not losing the sector is what I mean. Excellent. We've lost the center, but that really doesn't matter. Um, we've still got the missile base, which is the most important sector to have right now. Uh, what is this fighter? It's got to be a Yak-19. 
He's up way too high. If I'm almost at the cusp of my height, then he is definitely up too high. Ugh. Ugh. Where are you going? Thank you. Yeah, see, Act 19 is way, way too high. He's floating through space. It's like that um, David Bowie song. There we go. Where's the last aircraft? Oh, it's a multi rolled. It's way over there. Well, screw that crap. Uh, let's see if I can just capture this sector. It's against planes I'm not really built to go against, though. But we got it. Excellent. Whew. Well, that game went about as good as I could want a game to go. In a plane I really don't like, but I understand that like so many of the planes in the game that I don't like, it's more about postal than it is about the plane. Um, you know, I'm never going to be better at a plane if I don't try to be better at the plane. It kind of sounds like some sort of wonky ass um, reasoning, but it is a true statement, right? Um, so yeah, let's head on back. Well, it's a shame I died. 17 kills there. I could have conceivably gotten a Marseille, which would have been hilarious. Um, three sectors captured. I wasn't really sure if this was going to even be a really good game. So this is the second game I've played in the FW252. The first one wasn't a bad one either, but it wasn't this good. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was an all-bot battle, but you still have to take advantage of that. And you still have to play the plane towards its strengths. What are the strengths of this plane? It does have very good airspeed, right? No no doubt about that. Um, it has good guns, all things considered. My biggest struggle that I had with the plane, though, was getting those guns to, to you know do what I want them to do. And so you can kind of um, you can kind of equate this plane to the Swift, which as I've done, you look at the stats of the Swift and you go, wow, the Swift has less hit points, but better literally everything. Now, keep in mind, my Swift is spec'd out. Um, and it has ultimate equipment on it. And it has a, a pilot on it. A what pilot? A nine-point pilot? Yes, a nine-point pilot on it. I have a four-point pilot on my FW252. So there's definitely some things working against the 252 in this comparison. We'll do another comparison eh, many months down the road once I've specialized the 252. But this was the basic comparison that I was doing. And I was like, well, it's a poor man's Swift. Um, if you compare it to the other tier 10 fighter that has two 30 millimeter cannons, the, the cannons on this are better than the 30 millimeter cannons on that, for sure. Nobody's going to even argue that. And you're giving up a lot of everything for maneuverability in the 162. Um, again, not specialized in the 162 Mark III. Uh, but... You're never going to have the airspeed that this plane has. You're never going to have the altitude performance that this plane has. You're never going to have the guns. You're giving up a lot for maneuverability in the key 162. And at tier 10, I'm not really sure that's worth it. If you want a maneuverability a maneuverability build in a plane, you're just going to want the Yak-30. Right? Right. Yes, yeah, see? Right. Um, that being said, the 252, let's compare this plane to planes like the the MiG, the MiG-15. I do not have the MiG-15 uh, specialized yet. MiG-15 slightly speedier, just slightly, but much better altitude performance and much better maneuverability. Technically, the guns are worse, but you've got two 23 millimeter cannons and one 37 millimeter cannon. So you've got some consistency with the 23 millimeter cannons, and then you've got um, you know you've got this hard hitting 37. Um, and they're longer range than the 230s on the 252. So, you know, the argument could be made that these are actually better, a uh, better gun complement. Keep in mind, I've actually put lightweight wing frame on my MiG, just to give it a little bit of maneuverability. Um, so technically this could be even faster if I put something like, um, polished skin on here. Um, another plane that you could compare the 252 it would be the ME 1101. This is the plane that everybody freaking likes, right? Um, it's a great plane. The thing that makes this plane so strong 
is its cannons. You have four 20 millimeter cannons that hit so incredibly hard. They're so consistent. There's not any wonkiness to the accuracy. Just excellent overall firepower. The airspeed is less, yeah, okay. The maneuverability is much more, okay, that makes sense. The altitude is basically the same. So you're getting less, less speed for more maneuverability and really, really good guns. The thing that really kills me about the 252 is just the, the balance of the package. Um, and so with the 252, you probably really just want to have a really high skilled pilot in it. And so I'm, I'm hampering myself by having a very poor pilot in my, my 252. Um, I wonder if I've got like just a pilot lying around. I think I actually do have an eight point pilot sitting around, don't I? Oh no, that's on EU, I think. Yeah, so I don't even have like, I've got a five point pilot. That's still got more points than, uh, than my 252 pilot. I might, uh, I've got a BF 109 E3 pilot. I must've won that. Uh, I don't have an E3. I think the, um, I think these skills only work on the E3. Yeah. That would be cool if I could get that to work on the, um, on the 252, but it doesn't. So that being said, I don't have anything else that would really, that would fit into this. I could put the five point pilot in here. That might not actually be a bad idea. Um, what kills me about this plane is, so I'm actually going to do this. The, eh, no, ah, screw it. Let's not do it. What kills me about the plane is the, is the guns hitting. And I know eventually when I get this pilot up to nine points, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get aerodynamics expert if I've got the plane specialized. If I don't have the plane yet specialized, I'm going to go for engine guru. The reason being is because once I've got the plane specialized, I'm going to have another equipment slot that's going to be used for airspeed. And aerodynamics expert is really going to come into its own at that point. 40% for maneuver uh, aircraft maneuverability and speed equipment. A 40% buff to any of the equipment that does that. So once you've got three equipment slots being used for airspeed, aerodynamics expert is definitely gonna gonna be a, a strong option. If I don't have the plane specialized yet, though, then engine guru two, excuse me, engine guru one would be uh, the the more preferred option. That being said, I know that's what I want to get eventually. The guns not hitting is the most frustrating part of this plane to me. And so I'm actually going to be going for Marksman 2 as my my next option on this plane. 33,000 more experience, 34,000 more experience as it shows here. And then I'll have my fifth pilot point and it's going to Marksman 2. And the reason being is because when I get in those engagements versus things like a J7W3 or an air defense aircraft fighter and I don't hit, it's it can it can mess up the game completely. Obviously, I don't need it for killing the fight, the heavy fighters or the bombers or ground attackers. But when I'm trying to desperately kill those small hitbox planes, I just need the guns to hit. The speed is good enough right now. The maneuverability, I can't do anything about no matter what I do to it. So rather than, say, than trying to buff the speed, I, I'm going to buff the accuracy of these guns. Um, and keep working my way towards specialization. And then I, I suspect... You know, because two more points is going to take me a while. I suspect I'll probably get specialization um, before I actually get the two points. So I suspect I'll be getting air defense, air, uh, aerodynamics expert, excuse me, first. And then I'll really be working towards engine guru and engine guru two to um, get the airspeed up. And then I'll figure out whatever, whatever else I want to do at that point. But my focus is going to be pure speed on this plane. Considering it's not specialized and you're at 87, I have no doubts that I can get it pretty close to 100 once I've specialized the plane. I will put on here on my consumables the improved mixture control. The engine doesn't get knocked out all that often. I mean, it does, but it's not enough for me to, to warrant putting in an, an engine restart, in my opinion, in my gameplay. Um, under the engine equipment, I will be putting a combined injection boost system. Again, just to maximize the speed. And then on the forward firing weapon, I. Anything, honestly, will help this particular gun style. Long gun barrels will help me get some more range. 
gas out per ejection will help me get just you know more damage output which is probably what i'm going to do but you could also the argument could be made for the reinforced ball carriers to be able to hold down the trigger for a little bit longer without overheating um, so the argument could be made on any one of those three items for this particular plane uh, that's actually my question for you so i'm pretty well locked into what i'm going to be doing with the person with the points for the pilot I'm pretty well locked in what I'm going to be doing with all the consumables and the equipment slots, except for the forward firing weapons. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on what the forward firing weapon equipment slot should be once I do specialize this plane, which will be a while, although I'm going to fly it a little bit more. Um, I still need to get, you know, 250 more freaking, um, oh, is it 250 more? Complete half the primary tasks. Ugh. Um, oh, it's talking about discounts for this. Anyway, yeah, 250 more um, enemy aircraft kills, which, you know, will take a little while, but not the end of the world. And, and an air defense aircraft destroyed. Normally, I get the air defense aircraft kills so quick in my fighters, uh, but not and nearly as quick in the 252, just because those light fighters are such pains in the butts. Anyway... I would really love to hear your opinion on this particular plane and on its setup. Again, great damage output. Just wish the firing range was a little bit longer. So any one of the three equipment slots for this plane will do. Do you enjoy this plane? Is this a plane that you've gone down and you said, hey, you know what? I, I enjoyed the grind. Um, or is this a plane you got and you were disappointed? Is it a plane that you haven't gotten? Because I know a, a lot of people don't go down this particular line. The FW252 is right here. So to get it, you would have to either go down the multi-roll line from the FW-190s to the TA-152, which is the worst tier 8 plane in the game, in my opinion, um, to the TA-183, which is one of the most fun planes in the game, <laughs> and then to the 252. It's a very up and down uh, part of the tech tree, as far as I'm concerned. Another way you could do it is going down the BF-109 line and then hopping over. But either way, most people are like, well, I want to go to the bat wings because these are awesome. Most people are like, I want to go to the 1101 and 1092 because these are awesome. So this kind of is, is not even kind of, this is definitely left in the dust. You don't see a lot of 252s out there on the battlefield. And I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Have you even tried? Um, have you heard bad things and it's discouraged you from even trying? Um, or do you absolutely love this plane and you think more people should fly it? Love to hear down below. And otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Bye.